out before we get into the weekend. It's a good time to find out what's going on in the dealing rooms in our special segment, D Street Charter. Well, Nimesh, tell us what are you picking up? Hi, Nigel. You know, it's a mirror of what happened yesterday as well. The last one hour of trade, and we saw a bit of selling pressure, and that's that's panning out in today's trade as well. But uh, like I said yesterday as well, there is no big panic selling. That seems to be the trend today as well. So the flows are mixed, but with a positive bias. But I guess today's numbers will get skewed because of the large two blocks, right? The Kotak Mahindra block of uh, nearly. Uh, uh, what 1.6 six percent equity change and three crore shares, so that's going to be a large block, yeah. 750 million dollars, and there is a large block in CMS info as well. So those two will have an impact on the institutional numbers, so to speak. I guess the sector of the day today is clearly the Nifty Bank. The financials have relatively outperformed mm. in a weak market today, and there is buying interest as well from the larger institutions. I highlighted the Morgan Stanley note in the morning as well. Uh, they believe that the private bank stocks are in a sweet spot, and some of the small, uh, you know, private banks will relatively outperform. The PSU banks from here on, so maybe that that's that's having an impact on the overall banking sector. But I guess uh, technically that 17, 400, uh, 18, 400 to 1800, 800 seems to be the range mm. that we are playing on for the last many for the last many many days now. I guess from a trigger point of view, the Fed outcome next week and the progress on monsoon. These are the two important events to track as far as next week next week are concerned. But again, you know, uh, uh, clearly a day of consolidation. But the flow seems to be still positive from the larger FIs. Okay, all right. Still broadly positive, which is good news. Taking some money off the table, I yeah. guess, par for the course. Uh, but Nimesh, tell us individual stocks. What are you picking up? So in terms of individual names, the first stock on my list is uh, Manapuram Finance. Uh, though the stock is in the in the FNO band, huge volumes in the cash market, and I believe some larger, you know, larger FIs seems to be buyer uh, in in uh, Manapuram Finance. In fact, uh, a leading domestic venture fund has recently added the stock as well into the fund, and they've been active buyer as well. So there is delivery happening by delivery based buying happening in Manapuram Finance of Lake. So that's the first one. The second stock is Varun Birviges. Uh, for the second day running, I understand there are strong sell flows at a leading FID. So at these high levels, some bit of profit booking seems to be uh, in, in Varun Birviges. The third stock is Tech Mahindra. Within the IT names, this stands out today on the sell side. Huge uh, you know, selling flow is what I understand from, it, from the, from the dealing room. So the delivery volumes are going to be quite high in Tech Mahindra in today's trade. And the last stack is CMS Infosystems. Uh, in the middle of the trade, there is a very large, very large block, nearly 14% equity has changed hands. Uh, I believe in terms of seller, uh, the promoter entity, which is Bearings Private Equity, they are the likely seller in today's block. And some marquee domestic funds are, are, are expected to be biased. The disclosures could be quite important as far as CMS Info is concerned. Okay, thank you very much for that. In fact, uh